So we've got a press conference underway right now uh, as I speak to you um, with NASA, Boeing, and United Launch Alliance officials. Uh, here's the key headline from this uh, press conference so far. Boeing's Starliner spacecraft will not be able to rendezvous with the International Space Station. However, it will remain in orbit. They are going to keep it in safe orbit, collecting data, and they are going to return Starliner to Earth via the White Sands Missile Range in New Mexico in about, New Mexico in about 48 hours. That's the earliest landing they can do. It's going to be 7.30 a.m. on Sunday, although that, too, could change. In this conference, though, um, stressing that the spacecraft looks healthy, that it was the absolute right decision to come back, to come home with it. And Jim Bridenstine, uh, the NASA administrator, saying repeatedly that actually today a lot of things went right and this is exactly why they test uh so it was an automation issue here basically the um as soon as starliner separated from the upper stage of that atlas 5 rocket it was supposed to begin burning that didn't happen it happened the engines were supposed to begin burning uh and also noting that if people which is what the spacecraft is ultimately designed to carry that if people were on board astronauts are trained they could have intervened uh, they would have been safe and that they probably could have taken the spacecraft to the correct orbit and ulti ultimately been able to dock with the international space station so that is your headline right now boeing starliner uh, is destined to return to earth in the next 48 hours however wrong to call it a failure not a failure definitely an, an anomaly and apparently they're continuing to collect a lot of information and, and, and make as much success from this mission as possible.